Hello sports fans, this is Dave at QRP Fun. Uh, today I want to talk about a small project. It's a article in this book, International QRP Collection. And the article <clears throat> and project is called The One Transistor Marvel. It was written by Dave Ingram, K4TWJ, who's now a silent key, um, an absolute <clears throat> giant in amateur radio in all subjects. I have a book on packet radio from Dave, um, and but he's written on every subject. <clears throat> this project, the One Transistor Marvel, is a very interesting little project that uses just one 2N2222A transistor. Uh, a couple of resistors, uh, a couple of uh, molded inductors, a couple caps, and that's basically it. <clears throat> it can be put together in, uh, you know, in like just an hour or two, uh, depending on your skill. Let me show you uh, this this little little transistor <clears throat> transceiver. Well, not really a transceiver, more of a transmitter. But if you use it in conjunction with a a receiver you can you can use it both ways so this is the actual board that I built on using little me squares and a copper clad board we'll get a nice tight shot of this here see if we can get a focus and obviously you see the size of my thumb and finger this is how small this is uh, it's my ultimate goal uh, to build this thing to fit in uh, a tic-tac case like this. I think that'd be a really nice little size for a transmitter. <clears throat> uh, so uh, let me hook it up and let me get back to you and let me show you how it sends. Okay, I'm back. I've got the little one transistor marvel hooked up to an MFJ watt meter dummy load for QRP. Um, the range is zero to five watts. Um, you can see by the size, here's a nine volt battery and here's the board. Uh, I have that plugged into my flame proof key, which is one of my favorites. Uh, and um, over here I have a, just a general coverage receiver uh, tuned to the same uh, frequency as the crystal. So let's take a look here. Uh, and let's uh, let me see if I can come in on this just a little bit. You can look at the you can look at the watt meter. So as you can see, it uh, moves pretty good, probably, you know, 50 to 100 milliwatts, but uh, it's a great little project to get started. The, uh, the board, as you can see, can be quite small, and uh, it's, it's a good, it's a good uh, project for a very low cost, just pennies for the components. Uh, if you have any trouble com finding uh, any of the components, let me know. I might just be able to send you a few. So it's that was my project for a nice uh, Friday evening. Take care all 73.